So I'm going to kind of walk through this exercise since a couple of you have had problems with it, just to show you how you need to uh, go about completing it. So uh, the first task is to design a query that extracts information from the billing table with the following specifications. So I'm going to go into create and query design. And I'm going to select the billing table. And I'm going to close here. And normally I do resize these. So it wants billing ID, client ID, and date. So billing ID, client ID, and date. Uh, they would like records in the date field uh, with dates between. Okay, so it's giving us a little range. So on the criteria row, I'm going to key in between. Uh, 6, 8, 2018, and 6, 15, 2018, and I'm going to press enter, and you'll notice it puts the little hashes around the criteria, okay, which um, is fine. You don't have to manually type it. It will put those in for you. Okay, so I've done that. It says save the query. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm actually going to run the query to make sure it works. <laughs> it's always a good idea. And so I've saved it. I made sure it works. And now I'm just going to right click on the tab and close it. Now, I did notice when I observed some people that when they're closing tables or queries, they're clicking on this X, and you don't want to do that. This X and this X do not click on. <laughs> um, it's because you're either closing out of access or you're closing out of the snap exercise. So what you want to do is right click on the tab and close it here. Okay, so we're going to do another one. Uh, this is going to have two tables. So uh, billing table is one we need. So I'm going to go into create and go into query design. So we've got the billing table and it looks like rates. So I'll close. Uh, from the billing table, we need billing ID client ID, date, and rate ID. And then from the rates table, all we need is rate. And they want rate IDs greater than two. So on the criteria row, below rate ID, I'm going to key in greater than two. Press enter. Um, and you'll notice it put double quotes around it. Uh, that tells me rate ID is a character or a short text field. And this should still work, even though it's short text. We're going to go ahead and click on run. And you can see that the rate ID is indeed greater than two. And at this point, we're going to save this. And we're going to call it rate ID greater than two query. And then I'm going to close by right clicking the tab and selecting close. Uh, so this is going to have four tables. So we'll go ahead and go into create and query design. And so attorney's table is one of them. Categories. Rates. Move this. And billing. 
So I know this text kind of all strings together. So what I'm doing to, de <laughs> to find the tables is I'm looking for the colons, okay? Because it's got the table name followed by a colon. That's kind of how I'm finding it in this long string of text. So I'm gonna close out of here. Whoops, gotta add my fields. So we've got the attorney's table. We want attorney ID. We want first name, last name, and that's pretty much it from that table. So in the categories table, they want category. That's it. Uh, in the rates table, they want rate ID. And they also want rate. Uh, in the billing table, they want date and hours. And I'm gonna double check and make sure I got all the fields because as I mentioned, this text kind of, it's very close together and there's not commas between the field names, which to me is kind of weird. It all strings together. So we got attorney ID, first name, last name. And then from the category table, we have category. And that looks like it. Uh, then we get to the rates table where we've got rate ID and rate itself. And then from the billing table, we have date and hours. So I believe we've got everything. Uh, they want records that have an attorney ID of 17 and a rate of four. So this is an and query, which means that both criteria have to be on the same row. So under attorney ID, I'm gonna key in 17. And then under rate ID, I'm going to key in a four. So I don't expect very many records when I run this uh, and queries like this limit the records that are displayed. So let me click on next here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run. And to double check under attorney, you should only have 17. Under rate, you should only have four. So it did work, so I'm gonna click on save. And I'm gonna call it attorney. 17 rate ID for query. And then I'm going to close it. So they want us to display that last query in design view. I'm going to right click and go into design view. And they want us to modify this query so it displays records with the rate ID of four and attorney IDs of 17 and 19. Okay, so let's click here. So below the field value 17, they want 19. below the field value four, they want another four. So basically, uh, this was worded a little strange, but what they want is attorney 17 and rate ID of four, or attorney 19 and rate ID of four. And we, they want us to run it. Okay, so under attorney, we see either 17 and a rate of four or 19 and a rate of four. And they want us to save this query under a completely different name. So we have to go into File and Save As. Save Object As. And then click on Save As. And this is going to allow us to give this a different name. So we've got Attorney 17. And I'm being very careful when I'm naming these queries to use this exact same casing that they want and the exact same name that they want. Okay. 
Okay, so at this point, we're done with that one. Click on next, wants us to close the query. And at this point, I'm going to check my answer. So hopefully that will help you guys uh, complete this without too many difficulties.